Welcome to Western Principles Resource Management and Capacity Planning video. In this video, we'll show you how you can make sure you have the right people to get stuff done. This is part two of two. Look for part one on our YouTube channel. Before we begin, if you're watching YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications about new content. If you're watching on LinkedIn, please like, comment, or share. Alright, let's look at what we're going to cover today in this how-to session. We'll set out some definitions so that we're all talking the same language. Then we'll do a short how-to demo of capacity planning and another for resource management. Finally, we'll talk about your next steps. You can find part one of this series on our YouTube channel at this link and in the description below on YouTube. Right, let's get on to it. Here are a series of definitions. Capacity planning is looking out several months to help you ensure that you have the right number of people with the right skills to get things done. In contrast, resource management is all about assigning and juggling people on projects and tasks to complete work. A role is what a person does. It might also be a skill. A generic resource is used for capacity planning as a placeholder for a person who will get assigned to a named resource as the planning horizon gets closer to the activity. The named resource is a person with a role who ultimately gets assigned to a task. All good? Okay, let's go. Let's start by looking at workforce-focused dashboards that give your executives and your PMO teams visibility to capacity and resource allocation. These give you the information you need to easily see problems and then to start fixing them. Let's take a look at the Power BI dashboard for Microsoft Project Online. Power BI is a report back for Microsoft Project Online. Out of the box, there are multiple dashboards for your portfolio, resources, and projects. The data in these comes directly from Microsoft Project Online. You can also easily drill down into multiple other dimensions for reporting, for example, by filtering on departments, groups, and more. In addition, Western Principles can help you improve these reports, for example, by moving from an hourly basis to an FTE basis. Here you're seeing the out-of-the-box report for capacity and the demand for this resource group. You'll note that in April to August, we have high demand for this one resource stand plan. Further out, we can see that our generic resource is showing us that we'll have significant demand from September to February. We'll need to staff up for this. After February, we're going to need to find more work or look at using our workforce differently. This is capacity planning. The Power BI dashboards give you a lot of information that will help you understand your resource issues and make decisions quickly. Let's do some capacity planning. The capacity planning feature is part of the portfolio analysis tool. In here, you can prioritize projects and assess them against the budget. The final step in this process is to make capacity planning decisions so that you can actually do the projects. Capacity planning allows you to create scenarios and assess how you will scale your workforce, perhaps through hiring or with contractors or with your training. Here we have five very similar projects. They all call for a consulting engineer as a generic resource. We only have three consulting engineers, so projects one, two, and three are automatically selected. How do we do the other two projects? One option is to move one of the projects to where we don't have an over-allocation problem. So if we move this one out to April and recalculate, now we can do this project too, but just a bit later. Another option is to use some of the built-in reporting to get a better understanding about how many resources we need to hire. As noted above, hiring may also be, mean that you use short-term contractors or that you retrain people into these roles. If we were to hire one more resource, we'd be able to do all of the projects now. Again, we could look at the built-in reports to understand better who you would have to hire and when. In short, capacity planning is a powerful tool that is remarkably easy to use and gives you a lot of information quickly to help you plan for resource demands or surpluses. How do you know you've got a resource management problem? There are three places you can look. Starting at a project, if you have a task with an overall allocated person on it, you'll see this red resource icon on the task line. The Capacity Planning Dashboard provides a real-time and working view of resource allocations. 
Let's have a look at the live dashboard. In this chart, we can see three resources. We can see that our resource Stan is allocated well right up until this time period. And suddenly he's got over allocation of 40 hours a week and then over allocation of 80 hours a week. At the same time, we can see that his peers are under allocated. Also, if we scroll down, we can see the detail of what each resource is assigned to. The Capacity Planning Dashboard gives you the insights you need to fix allocation problems. There are three ways that you can go about fixing your allocation problems in Microsoft Project. You can fix some of this in the Project Web App, but we recommend using Microsoft Project Professional as it is more powerful and flexible. Here in the Project Center, we can see the three projects that we're going to work on today. Project 1, 2, and 3. All of these are virtually identical projects with one resource assigned to them. We can see the start dates for these, and we can see the finish dates for these. Let's look at those three projects in Project Professional. Here's the first project starting on April 27th. It's staff with STAM plan. Here's the second project starting on May 25th and once again staff with STAM plan. And here's the third project starting on June 15th and, not surprisingly, once again staff with STAM. We know this is over allocated as we can see the little red person in the information column. Let's level these three projects and see what happens. I'm going to go to the resources tab here and I'm just going to hit level all. The leveling happens across all open projects with this resource and we can now see that the start date for project 3 is pushed out to August 31st. Similarly, if I flip over to project 2, we can see that the start date is pushed to June 29th. If I flip back to project 1, the project start date is unchanged. We've simply leveled the resources and pushed the projects 2 and 3 out. I may not want to actually move these dates, so fortunately I can just hit the undo key and remove these changes. The second way of fixing the overallocation is to replace an overallocated resource with another resource with the same skill. Again, under the resources tab, I add a resources from the enterprise team. Here I can see my selected resource that's staffed on the project, and I want to search for people with matching skills, so I simply hit match. And project now brings back everybody with the matching role. I can go further and ask it to show me resources that are available during the project and with the resource availability that I need for the work. In this case, I'm simply going to pick Samantha and replace Stan with Samantha. When I do this, any work that Stan, Stan had done on the project is preserved and Samantha is assigned all work going forward. Let's look at another method. The third method is to use drag and drop in the Team Planner view. Here we are in the Team Planner view and we can see that Stan is assigned to Project 2, Project 3, and if I scroll over to the right, he's still assigned to Project 1. Now all I need to do here is say I'm going to grab one of these project items, one of these activities, these assignments, and I'm going to drag it down to another resource. Now Wentz is assigned the work for Project 2. I can grab Project 3 and pull it down to Samantha. And now I fixed all of the over allocation in the Team Planner view. In just a few minutes, we've shown you three ways to fix your over allocation problems. Microsoft Project Online gives you powerful and easy to use options and dashboards to help you find and fix your over and under allocations. Western Principles is a gold certified Microsoft PPM partner. We know Microsoft Project and can help you with your resource management and capacity planning. Through a simple three-step process, we can help you configure, implement, report, and integrate your project and portfolio management system and train your team to get the best return on investment from it. Let's get started together. Visit us on the web, call us at 1-800-578-4155, or email us at info at westernprinciples.com. We look forward to helping you.